Hello guys, today's little video is a very simple little project. I've been asked to make a, a train whistle by a, a local folk band. They wanted a train. Where's they, where could they buy one? They said. I said, well you can make a whistle easy enough. Um, I said, I'll make you one. So I've got a piece of, this is waste pipe, PVC plastic waste pipe. I'm taking a small piece like this. And uh, I think this is 21.5, but it's, it, no, there's no uh, critical measurements. It could be inch, inch and a half, it doesn't really matter. And at one end, I've cut a notch out like so. Let's use a pencil. And if it's cut in at right angles to about halfway, and then a 45 degree angle, a bit like uh, the bit that you take out of a tree when you chop a tree down. So it's as simple as that. And then this end I've, uh, I've blocked up with a plastic plug. This could be wood, hard wood, piece of cork, anything. Such a nice push fit. And if you look carefully, there's a, a flat. Get that there, that might show it. There's a, a little flat on the top there, which is in line with this top. And the whole thing is pushed up, so it's pretty much flush with the end of this face. If I put my hand over the end to make a stop pipe and just give a blow, we have a, a whistle. Now the note of the whistle, or the frequency of the whistle, is determined by the airflow, speed of the air, and the length of the tube from this face to that end. Uh, the shorter the higher the note, and the longer the lower the note, of course. And by stopping the end, or putting a plug on the end, using my hand. It means that the air goes up the tube and down the tube so it needn't be as long as if I didn't have my hand on the end, a non-stop pipe. This is a practice used by uh, organ builders, otherwise they'd have massive, massive pipes, wouldn't they? Anyway, they wanted a, a sort of an American type style freight train whistle, and which is different to whistles in the uh, UK. Uh, in the States I believe they have a sort of a well a triplet or a chorus or a chord of, of notes and it's just continuous. Um, whereas in the UK uh, trains, I'm not talking about steam whistles here, but n normal trains now is just a two note and they oscillate between one and the other and there's about a half tone or so between them. So they wanted an American sort of style, so I thought, well, we'll have to make up uh, uh, something that sounds a little bit sort of harmonically nice, if you like, rather than discordant. So there is a formula for working out uh, the length of the pipe to get the note you want, but I'm not very good at that, so I thought I'd try and be clever. So I got myself a, or made myself up a little plunger that fits the, the pipe and uh, by blowing down the end and moving the length I've, I've got a swanny whistle <laughs> right it's enough of the clangers but you got the idea so what I've done here is I uh, found a piece of material it can be anything and I put it flush with the end and I put a piece of blue sticky tape at this end and the idea being is no matter where I put down there and get the note I want I can put that against it and say that that's the length of the pipe that length that I want to produce that note so how have I done that well here's a little guitar tune let's see if I can zoom into it could do if it's move the camera a bit there you go Let's prop it up. Will that do? Yeah, it'll do. Let's switch it on. Let's zoom in a bit, if it will. Yeah, it will. And the first pipe I made up, which is only a little short one, okay? <coughs> Try that again. <coughs> and it's a D, it's a D flat. It's saying it's a better D. 
No, it's a D flat. Okay, not critical. The next one, a little bit longer. That's an A. The next one, a bit longer still. G sharp, the longest one. C sharp. That's what it says. Okay, let's pan back. So there are the, well, I say three, I made four, haven't I? There's four little pipes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so they're all made out of PVC 21.5 and they've all got a cork bunged in the end to reduce the length needed. Okay, we've got a cork. So, they're the four notes I've come up with individually. You might like to try a different combination, but they seem to work out quite well. And so what do the four sound like together? Well, I made that up and it's just a couple is into a well, that's just a chamber to join the lock together and I blow in there. So we'll put the last, the largest one on there, which is that one, followed by that one, and then perhaps say that one, <coughs> that one. And the end result, wants well, a lot of puff, but the end result is pretty authentic. That's pretty good. You can reduce the amount of puff you need. I made a little bit of a mistake by making that. See that gap there? Yeah. Just a bit too big. I sanded too much of that face inside to make that gap and it means I need to have a lot of blow. So if you want something that you can blow and don't have to use bellows, don't go quite as much as I have, but nothing's too critical. Anyway, there we uh, it whoops the wrong way. Come up. There's our train whistle. It's taken me a couple of hours to make. Costs virtually nothing. You can buy a length of this for two quid. I've got enough to make a couple more if need be. So, just your time. One train whistle.